Batman is a beloved character who is often, although not always, portrayed as having a strong aversion to killing. It's like my one rule. It only makes sense that for a character whose initial motivation was the loss of two people very close to him, that unnecessary death is one of the last things he would want to be responsible for. So then when we come to Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, bang 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 bang. Uh he he kills a few people. But that's not necessarily a problem, is it? There's nothing inherently wrong with exploring a darker version of the character. One who's either turned his back on that code he once lived by, or never had that code in the first place. And exploring those ideas could be especially appropriate in a movie like Batman vs Superman, that's all about questioning the morality of our heroes. And that's one way you could plausibly defend the excessive violence in Batman v Superman without coming across as a giant gaping anus. Here's how, here's how Zack Snyder defends it. Someone says to me like, oh, like Batman killed a guy. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> 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 really? I'm like, wake the fuck up! It's one thing to adapt a character while ignoring a traditional aspect of that character, but then to act like anyone who's unhappy with the change that you decided to make as being an idiot is kind of pretty unreasonable. There's nothing wrong with exploring the idea of a Batman who kills, but acting like that's the only way Batman could be is just like, I'm sorry, what? But Zack is just getting started here. And then you come and say to me something about like, oh, my superhero wouldn't do that. I'm like, are you serious? Like, I'm like down the fucking road on that. You know what I mean? So, and it's a cool point of view. Look, I'm 100% fine with it. There, it's a cool point of view to be like, my heroes are still innocent. You know, my heroes didn't fucking, you know, lie to America. My heroes didn't you know, embezzle money from their corp. My heroes didn't fucking commit any atrocities. I'm like, that's cool, but you're living in a fucking dream world. Ah yes, the old, your perspective is cool and all, but also it's wrong. Both our perspectives are valid, but you're living in a dream world. I also really like the idea that Zack Snyder thinks that Oh, a billionaire whose parents are murdered, and then he dresses up in a giant bat suit, and then goes around beating up criminals, and then also there's a man from space who can't be destroyed and he can fly, and then some guy cuts his hand open and puts an alien in a puddle, and then this massive unkillable blob comes out of it and tries to destroy a city. That's not a dream world. But as soon as one of those characters thinks murder is bad, or doesn't lie to America, embezzle money, or commit an atrocity? That's you living in a fucking dream world there, that would never happen. You know, that crosses the line where his suspension of disbelief just, just fucking breaks. Also, Zack, I would just like to take a step back here and point out that there are already a countless number of portrayals of Batman, successful or... Uh, and he has a rule against or aversion to killing in so many of those that it's become a central part of his character's mythos. The day doesn't go by when I don't think about subjecting him to every horrendous torture he's dealt out to others, and then end him. But if I do that, if I allow myself to go down into that place, I'll never come back. So are the creators of and fans of those portrayals of the Dark Knight living in a dream world as well? I have one rule. Oh, then that's the rule you'll have to break to know the truth. Is Lego Batman a dream world, Zack? Are you gonna tell me this isn't real? Are you gonna tell me that people can't just put themselves back together when I punch them into little bits? But at this point you may be thinking, Jay, in portrayals like The Dark Knight, Batman does end up killing. At the end of the film, to save the Commissioner's son, he kills Harvey Dent. To which I would say yes, but that brings me to... The distinction. Zack Snyder portrays the people criticizing his portrayal of Batman as saying, Oh, Batman killed a guy. Someone says to me like, Oh, like, Batman killed a guy. I'm like, fuck. But, Zack, come on. Come on now. He, he doesn't just kill a guy, does he? He obliterates these guys with machine guns built into his Batmobile. He performs a fucking airstrike on these guys. Shoots at all these guys. Harpoons this fellow. Lets these guys get blown up. Stabs this guy in the chest. Blows these guys up. And I could go on. Yeah, he's, he's a bit more violent in this one than in a lot of other portrayals. And, you know, do any of these guys have families, kids, wives, husbands, mothers? Uh, happy Mother's Day, by the way. I'm, I'm releasing this on Mother's Day. If you're a mother, well done. I, I don't know what I'm saying. But my point is that in so many portrayals of Batman, he is an orphan boy whose parents were murdered and he makes it his life's mission to prevent other people from feeling that same pain. 
and in this version he probably inflicts that same pain on some other people himself. Which again, is a perfectly legitimate road to take that character down. If you want your movie to be dark and edgy and fuck knows you do, then sure, explore that potential angle. But surely you have to understand the distinction here. In your movie, Batman didn't kill a guy. In The Dark Knight, he kills a guy when he has no other choice to save the life of a child. But even though he kills a guy in the movie, he's still portrayed with that strong aversion to killing that we've come to expect from his character. In your movie, he powers through kills like he's going for a high score. That's why so many people take issue with your movie. But even if he did just kill one guy in Batman v Superman, this defense still wouldn't work. Batman is through and through a lawful good character, and having a version of him that takes his famous no killing rule even further than he takes it in the dark knight and refuses to kill anyone under any circumstances you'd still have a believable character this wouldn't be a dream world well no it would be a dream world because it's like a sci-fi setting with aliens and fantastical elements but it wouldn't be a dream world for the reason that you think it would be mr snyder you seem to think you're right but you're just edgy you've misrepresented the issue that people take with your portrayal of this character and then you made a counter argument that doesn't even work against the mis represented version of that criticism that you were responding to, let alone the problem that most people actually have with it. You've just gone, you think Batman doesn't kill? Actually, he just does. And if you disagree, you're living in a dream world. Killing is just a part of life. Everybody does it. And now I'm gonna go to my room, play GTA, and drink Monster Energy, even though my mum says I'm not allowed it but she doesn't have to know because I bought it at the shop myself and normally they're supposed to ID you when you buy it, but they didn't ID me because I'm not a teenager, I'm a 53 year old film director. I think I got a bit carried away there, but I still bet you couldn't genuinely look me in the eyes and tell me that that's definitely not something Zack Snyder would probably say. Before I go, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all my patrons, and I would like to let you know that if you took issue with any of the things I said in this video, then why not check out my uncut Zack Snyder response video, which probably has many of the same problems, it's just a bit longer. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time on Wednesday, goodbye.